Simon, thank you so much for coming today. So I've got um, Chris, who's with the UK Air Force, and Lisa, who's come down, who's the New Zealand military attaché, to decide how we're going to carve and dress yes. your airman. Isn't yeah. that exciting? Really exciting, yeah. The, the uniform or whatever he's wearing is going to be really, really important. So if we go down there, we'll meet some of them down there, and then we can come and have a meeting after that. <laughs> Many of the planes crashed in May and June. Because of the P-38 went down in June and the B-17 was in May the 5th, 1945. Um, and the Whitley, was, in the, was that 1942? Was again up in the hills there, which you cannot see at all. That's where the planes went. So yeah. the statue is an airman looking round to mm -hmm. say goodbye. Yes. Because he's so excited. He's going to climb into his plane. <laughs> and then behind him, the three benches out of the cedar, so we can sit and so remember. So the benches will sit around that side? I think this, this side. This side. This side. Yeah, yeah. So we're all looking up at the hills, and he's looking back to you. So, but on the plinth, I thought I would find bits and pieces from all the different planes yeah, and put it in the plinth. And then again, I'm going to ask each of the Air Forces to come back so we write the names in the benches in mm. the correct manner yes. with the uh, different mottos yes. or their regiments, or, but it's for them to choose. Uh, it's, it's working out the pose more than anything to begin with. I think they're all committed to the flying helmet and the goggles on the head and, yes. the, and the sheepskin jacket. So yes. it's both New yes. Zealand and UK and, and the Americans put that on over their uniform Absolutely, as well. Absolutely, yes. And yeah. they would have been carrying a parachute if it would well, have opened. Exactly, yes. Now we need to work out when you're starting. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's definitely Brilliant. the next question. Thank you.